guys! Welcome to another Bibliophones video. Stephanie here. And this is going to be my Tome Tumblr TBR. Tome Tumblr TBR. Say that ten times fast. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be my Tome Tumblr TBR list. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to read. I have a very, 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 very large pile of books. I don't know what to read. But if you guys leave any comments below, please let me know what I should read or if you read it and it's really good. So let's get started. So with the Tome Tumbler TBR round two, from what I understand, that uh, there's a couple challenges that go along with it. And the challenges are so. Rule number one. Uh, read more than one tome, you'll see, I got it covered. Rule number two, read a graphic novel. I do not own a graphic novel that is over 500 pages. The only ones I do have is Death Note, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I do not believe these are over 500 pages, though. I will double check into it, but if it is, I'll read it. If not, obviously, skip it. And then, rule number three, or challenge number three, uh, read a tome that is part of a series. Again, got it covered. Um, number four, a buddy read a tome. I will try, but if not, I'll just read and enjoy. Uh, and then rule number five, read an adult novel. I think I got that covered in a couple cases, but I'm not sure. So let's get started. I'm going to start by the ones that I actually want to read first. I'm bad at making decisions. Okay, so the first one that I picked up, which was my very first one that I actually, when I heard about this, wanted to pick up, and that is The Name in the Wind by Patrick Ness. This has, because this is the mass market paperback, this is 720 pages. I got that part covered with the 500 pages plus. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I really want to read this though. People are raving about it on the YouTube world or the booktubing world. I believe it is. That's one that I want to read. Number two. This is an adult novel and that is The Voice in the Wind. Huh. So we have The Name in the Wind and then The Voice in the Wind. Okay. This is the 10th anniversary edition and this is the Mark of the Lion series by uh, Francine Rivers. Um, I believe this one in particular is about Esther uh, from the Bible, and I really want to read it because I love the story of Esther, but I just got to get time to read this. And this one is just over 500 pages, 510 pages, 507 pages, so it is just over that 500 mark. I really, these are definitely the two I want to read, but here I'm just going to list the next couple ones, and if you've read them, let me know if you Bitter Blue. This one, I do not have the cover to it. I got it like this from Goodwill for 25 cents. How can you beat that? And it is Eldest. And then, The Knife of Lever... The Knife of Never Letting Go. I got a couple. No, I don't. Oh, Patrick Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. This is by Patrick Ness, not the other one. Um, this one is just over that 500 mark. Never read it before. Beautiful Creatures, never read it. Um, this is by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Getting into the 600 pages. I hear a lot of people like this one, but not the rest of it. But I really want to read this. So, and then this is also an adult part of a series, and it's The Forgotten Legion by Ben Cain. My husband has read this. He wants me to read it because he thinks I'll love it. It's just, it's huge. But this is definitely over the 500 mark. Actually, it's just a hair over the 500 mark. And then, of course, The Night Circus. I really want to read this one. I really want to read these all. I'm feeling a little bit redundant and repetitive and redundant and repetitive. 
And then The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Diane Gabaldon, Outlander. Besieged by Rowan Corey Daniels. Book one of the Outcast Chronicles. Mass market paper, right? you're way over the 500 mark, you're into the 700. So, Ink Heart by Cornella Funk. Rainbow Rowell, Carry On. No, oh, ooh, why did I have this in my pile? Oh, wait, wait. Yes, it is just over the 500 page mark. So, stay. The Shannara Chronicles, The Elf Stones of Shannara by Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Great first name. I loved the Twilight series, the books, not the movies. Want to clear that? There is no front cover. Ha ha ha. I have it off. But it is the Bronze Horseman. It's not the pretty cover, so the one where it's like half a girl's face. But this is Pauline Simmons. Paulina? Paulina Simmons. Um, it's Russian history in World War II. It's a historical fiction. I started reading it just to kind of see what I would do. But that didn't help because I want to read them all now. So, yeah, I'm not going to put them on there. I'm, re I'm working on this shelf. Watch my video. Um, I'm working on this shelf to fix it because it's, it's broken. But um, that is my pile that I really want to read. These ones I'm really considering being the two that I want to read. Yes. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Okay. Uh, okay. It's gonna fall. Alright, these I want to read. Let me know in the comments down below if I should read these or something else. Okay, that was dangerous. That wasn't all of them. And they're heavy. So, let me know in the comments down below what I should read and if you want to buddy read with me. And until next time, this is in a bibliophobe signing out.